Tomb Raider came back in a big way in 2013 as Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics revitalized the franchise with a solid reboot, focusing on Lara Croft's beginnings as a survivor. This year, Rise of the Tomb Raider continues that story, and while its temporary Xbox exclusivity is proven controversial, the game itself maintains the quality of its predecessor. The Lost City's up there, somewhere. That's gonna be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. One of the weaker points, however, is the story. Determined to continue her father's research despite protests from concerned friends, Lara crosses paths with an organization called Trinity, a secretive and ancient religious sect, searching for the same artifact that she is. The artifact is said to grant immortality and also has ties to a rival group that's opposed Trinity for centuries. The plot is a bit too familiar and cheesy, and the villain in particular is too much of a caricature to take seriously. Oddly enough, the scattered documents you find tend to be more interesting than the moments that play out right in front of you. Just think, if this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would, it would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, gone. Are you listening to yourself? Where Rise of the Tomb Raider excels is in its level design. Areas are wonderfully complex, featuring big spaces with lots of verticality, since Lara starts off with the pickaxes used to climb walls. A few locations are more straightforward, but many branch off from large hub zones. As a result, you'll cross these central territories multiple times, opening up new avenues as you acquire more traversal skills. NPCs in the hubs offer side quests, such as destroying communication boxes or rescuing hostages, but even though the activities are fairly routine, you do get worthwhile gear in return. While the backtracking isn't too problematic in general, players looking to grab every last document and relic may be frustrated to find that markers sometimes add new icons to the map in places that you just finished searching. The sense of discovery is one of Rise of the Tomb Raider's strongest traits, and this is especially evident in the tombs themselves, most of which are optional. Map notifications can take a bit of the joy out of finding them, but sometimes it still takes a bit of digging just to find out how to reach those points on the map. The road to access a tomb is often as interesting as the tomb itself. Each stands apart as a spectacle, and they all showcase interesting mechanical puzzles. Further exploration also reveals smaller crypts. These are less extravagant than the tombs, but still rewarding, and they can be a little trickier to find. Even though Lars come more prepared for this chilly expedition, crafting is still a major component in the game. You'll strip saplings for wood, gather scrap from containers, and hunt animals for their hides. All of this is used to improve your existing weapons and gear, and you can likewise collect hidden parts to craft new weapons. Meanwhile, the experience system returns, letting you spend skill points to improve Lars' survival senses, increase defense, learn new combat maneuvers, etc. The game has a good sense of pace, complementing the laid-back exploration with stealthy takedowns, puzzles, shootouts, and big action sequences. Stealth is satisfying as it's easy to become the predator, grabbing enemies unaware, pulling them underwater, or simply landing on them with a knife. You can also craft makeshift explosives like Molotov cocktails or diabolically booby-trap a soldier's body to take out the next one who comes near. The enemies are perhaps a little too susceptible if you attack from the trees, though, and at one point, we were able to take out one target after another as they proceeded to check the bushes right beneath our feet. Check the bushes. Check the bushes. When enemies come rushing, you'll want to use faster firearms like pistols and assault rifles, but the bow is Laura's go-to weapon once again. Not only can you get clean, quiet headshots, but crafting specialized arrows, like poison arrows, can let you eliminate groups with a cloud of noxious fumes. The bow is also a major part of traversal as rope arrows return, allowing you to create zip lines, swing over gaps, and tug objects into place. Since you get rope arrows fairly early, they play a more fundamental role than in the previous game. Is there a way out? No, but I found something that might be useful. The main game is a lot going for it and finishes strong, but an additional mode called Expeditions is completely forgettable. Expeditions lets you replay chapters and return to areas with new objectives. You can try score attacks in which you collect blue lights and shoot lanterns, or you can take on remnant missions that involve stealing intel, rescuing hostages, and hunting lynxes. <laughs> Yeah! 
Expeditions let you customize and choose your own goals, and you can also modify missions by applying various cards. Some cards give you bonuses for accepting handicaps, like starting without ammo. Some give you perks in exchange for a score penalty, and others are just for fun, giving you big heads or turning your arrows into chickens. You get several free card packs for making progress in the main game, and more can be purchased for in-game credits or real cash. It's clear that Expeditions Mode is an attempt to get players to spend more time and money with Tomb Raider after they finish the campaign, but we grew bored with it after an hour. The arcade-style goals, timers, and recycled locations don't mesh well in a game that has its strengths in exploration and discovery. Come in. I've done what you asked. While the story and extras may not impress, the gameplay in Rise of the Tomb Raider holds up through a long and varied adventure. There are lots of tools to play with and utterly jaw-dropping locations to see, fleshed out with great level design. Rise of the Tomb Raider is right on par with the last game, so if you enjoyed Lara's previous excursion, there's plenty to look forward to here. Go easy. Go easy. Hear the suffering. Oh, <laughs> my